join me for a brief unbox video uh, from a new product that I found on Amazon. And uh, with us here we have uh, Zelda soaking in some water, uh, watch, watching us while we do this. Okay, so I'm not really going to tell you what, what this is yet. So, we have a box here. Okay, I actually already opened this. Uh, then I decided, yeah, I'm going to do an unboxing video on it. Because this is a product I haven't seen on the market yet. And uh, I won't show you my address there. I'll give you some pictures of it. And uh, let's see if you guys can figure this thing out. Oh, now, to be honest, this is actually taped on. I had to cut the tape. Um, this actually comes pa packaged pretty well. The only thing I have negative to say about how it's packed is it only came in this, this box. And n no boxes on the outside of it to protect it. So, um, that bubble wrap... wrap really is not going to do a whole lot other than keep this thing from bouncing around and maybe cracking inside the box during during travel but uh it, it came in one piece and you, you can scan that QR code if you want to if you want to see uh what this is all about and that's the company that that um, is making this product and basically can you guys figure out what it is yeah I know we can all make these but the thing I like about this is it's pretty self-contained and easy to clean and I make my own Dubia Roach hotel so to speak and uh, I wanted to see how this would compare. Now this has some weight to it. It's actually pretty, it feels really good. And no light's gonna get into this. So if you wanna uh, have a small Dubia colony in here, they're gonna love this. Now top, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, I'm gonna hold this with my feet. Since I have only one hand here, with the camera. All right, so this is what we get with it. Now, I'm gonna start with, with the lid here. You notice that it looks like it's a deformed Dalek uh, from Doctor Who. This is why. So, take this off, and it, and, and it fits really good. You can you can use this to literally pour out bugs um, like this as a watering can. I don't know how practical that would be because you're going to be pouring pouring out I don't know I guess I guess that's doable comes with this critter you know insect catcher old tongs they open up kind of you know these are kind of cheap but I do see people using them just you guys are that faint about about touching bugs you probably shouldn't be in this hobby good for kids but uh pick them up with your hands guys uh water dropper i'll go into what this is for in a minute now i do like the fact they have feeding tongs with with this they're plastic not the greatest in the world but not not the worst in the world i saw it really that'll work came with some instructions and uh, it's a it's a little bit more than what I would refer to as a toilet paper. Um, uh, manual. It actually is pretty good quality, and it does sh show you how to use this thing. Okay. All right. So this is this is the part I I like. I like the fact that these come out. You can wash them. Um, I. I still prefer using the um, egg cartons, which you could actually cut your egg cartons to fit in here, a slide in here, and it would, and this would still be useful. Um, now we notice that we have these P 
pieces in here. All right, I'm gonna leave that there because I don't feel like plucking that out. Um, but I'm gonna show you what these are about. And this this part I do like. Now, so you get this tray, and and then you use that eyedropper and fill this to the top with water, and you can't have drowned roaches or roaches or crickets. Um, I'm thinking. You could probably shave off with a razor just a little bit of this so you can actually get a little bit a little bit more water on top of this but i'm sure this would work and you fill this with with your food i'd be inclined just because i don't know if i totally trust this I, I might be inclined to put some water gel in here and then put your put your cricket food in here and gut loader um, all right, the best part of this, guys, oh, this trap door, I'm tapping it, okay? It doesn't come open. You, gotta, you have to hit it hard. So, obviously, you're going you're gonna to pull your food tray out before you actually um, pick this up and, and clean it or, or use it to uh, get poor animal uh, bugs out of. But this right here. It's held in place. Sorry about my bad camera work, guys. See that? There's a magnet there and a magnet over here. It does a pretty good job of keeping that, that trap door shut. All right, so let's get this trap door feeder in here. And there, pretty good. And all right. Now, the other part I like on this is your poop tray. Everything falls in here, dump it out, put it back on, you're done. So actually, and I, I haven't put any bugs in this yet. I will be putting in bugs in here pretty soon. Of course, you have some air holes in here. Now, pinhead crickets could get, could potentially get out of that, um, and really small dubias could actually get out of that. But you could also glue screen on the inside of that, and you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, otherwise, I actually like it. I think it will do a decent job, and yeah, I'll find out. All right, and uh, I don't put out very many videos, but feel free to like and subscribe and share. Uh, if you want to see more videos, right now, about all I'm going to do is do unboxing videos for reptile products and animal products. And then the top latches back on. That's the trickiest part about, about this is I wish there was a easier way to line up the, the top, but it's not that bad. And then you could actually, if you're going to put doobies in here, Put this by in a warm spot if you want the dubias to actually grow. Um, not a lot of space to, to get a, an actual big colony going, but you could probably put uh, one male and maybe three or four females in here, and uh, and get you know get some babies and then dump the babies out in another container and to keep them going. And not a cheap option as far as raising dubias, but it is a lazy option. Um, if you don't want to, uh, especially if you're, if you're just not going to be raising a lot of them, if you're going to be buying most of your stuff, but you want to buy, buy animals and keep them alive, this is what, I, I would go with it. I like it. It makes sense. A little pricey. Um, this is like 40 some odd bucks. Um, but everything's expensive right now, but, you know, I like it. So, I'm going to give it a try, and I think you probably should too. Good day, and see you later.